Hi, I'm Fari Yassin from the Science, Math, and Technology Affinity Group. As we reach the end of the sociology module, I thought I might share some information that may be helpful for your final project. It is one of those projects that seems simple at first, but once you begin to construct your piece, you may find that it is actually very difficult because the process of representing identity, whether in words, through pictures, or drawings, can be quite challenging, especially since we often work very hard to try and keep those dual identities in separate social worlds. The idea of hybridity requires one to build that bridge between those social worlds, the over here and over there, as Dowdy might put it. And so today I will be sharing with you some examples and things you may want to consider when constructing your final project. First, I shall look at some comic book images from my childhood and adulthood, and second, some images of a hybridity that was constructed by students who participated in a study I conducted on identity representation. As a teenager, I fell in love with comics. Although there were a lot of social differences between these characters and myself, I loved how the artists captured the dual identities of the heroes and showed the complexities of trying to segregate two aspects of identity into two social worlds. These worlds often inevitably seeped into each other, betraying a moment of hybridity. Representing hybridity is difficult because one doesn't simply want to make it a dictomy. That is the assumption that these two aspects of identity are separate because these identities coexist as a whole, even though we may mask one in one social context while we highlight the other. We become so used to its invisibility that we are sometimes unaware that it is there, even though it can reveal itself in how we think, perceive the world around us, and interact with others. This project offers an opportunity to become more conscious of how these identities are presented in a hybridized manner. The comics I'm about to show you were created by grade seven and eight students in a research project I conducted on the creative writing practices of adolescents. These particular pictures I have selected illustrate how students chose to depict themselves in an imaginative and hybridized ways. Because I am showing you identity artwork constructed by minors, some of the names have been removed from the pieces. The student presents the story of two hands. They are constructed as opposites of each other and engage in a game that puts them in competition with each other. But in the final frame, the student uses a wide shot to show their connection. Many students, of course, love the image of the masked superhero and the idea of having an extraordinary identity that was kept secret from the adult world. Other students in the study have portrayed themselves as villains and or the opposite gender of the one they present in school, such as Abby, who has done both. She portrayed herself as an average teenager who is secretly an evil vampire. And the final image that I wish to show to you is this one that's constructed by Kevin Lin. He chose to depict himself as numbers and orders of operation. These characters are in a constant struggle for power and their identities are constantly transformed through their interactions with each other. So when you construct your identity picture or drawing, you may want to consider what social context might create the space for both identities to emerge and what form might that identity take. You may need to find creative and imaginative ways to demonstrate the presence of a hidden identity in a social world that highlights the other identity. I hope this lecture will be helpful to you and provide you with some ideas you may wish to consider when developing your final project. Thank you for watching. I look forward to see how you shall capture the over here and over there.